Hello and welcome back to Arcanum, Steamworks and Magic Obscura. My last left off, well, we've got a murder of Victor Misk here. Neither the maid or the butler seems to have any kind of idea, but, oh. Passport wheat reads, Wesley Carrington, 25 dragons turned about Caledon. Hmm. Wish you on your search, madame. Yeah. Hmm. A book where he and his old man would know about. Excuse it. me. I'll just be a moment. Oh, certainly, Virgil. Lawrence Brumad, eighteen sixty to eighteen eighty four. That's Pretty recent. By I personally think of going to awful white church murder. You know, walk the streets a bit easier now we can. I'm ask who you are. Bring him Shoalfish, Gravedigger for the cemetery. How can I help you? Bring him Shoalfish? Doesn't sound like a dwarven name. It's not. Eh, you see, I grew up in Caledon. Oh, I don't have a true dwarven name. My family doesn't care at all for ancient dwarven history. We're a city dwarves and we're proud of it. It's a new world. Most dwarves around here like it that way. Of course, there is my neighbor's boy. Oh, what's his name? Malcolm Shoalfish. I think that's what it was. Always making things up about his ancient clan and whatnot. Hey, hold on. There he is. What does it bring him? There he is, Malcolm! Points over at Magus. We haven't seen you for 50 years. Where have you been off to? Your father's getting worried. Only 150 years old, you know. You're talking about him? That's right. So good to see you, Malcolm. Where are you off to on your one of your crazy quests to find our lost clan? <laughs> Little Malcolm, what an imagination. Uh, could you wait a moment, bring him? Magus? <clears throat> Let's, uh... Let's humor this old fool for a while. He might be able to help us, and if playing along with his delusions helps our cause, I'm willing to do so. Of course, of course. But you don't know this dwarf. This city dwarf? Of course not. I am a dwarf of the old tradition. I care little for these dwarves who forget their history and their heritage. Right, but he seems to know who you are. What? You must be joking. Look at him. He's grown soft. And his beard. I'd go so far as to say he probably trims it. You're probably right, Malcolm. Don't take the farce too far. Just staying in character, Bingham might ask you a few questions. Please do. I've spoken to the wife of Victor Misk. Aye, such a sad story that one is, eh? We buried him not four days ago. Uh, yes, truly. Did you know Victor at all? I knew old Victor, crazier than three-legged chicken in the last few months. Came around uh, here all the time, checking on his gravesite and all. Most people buy the plot for their graves in advance, but never met anyone who wanted to visit it all that time. Do you know what he wanted to do to that? Who knows? Sometimes he'd just sit there for hours and talk to himself. He was always real nervous, looking around at every little noise. Poor man should have been institutionalized. Can you show me where he's buried? Surely! It's the last grave up on the third row up from here. I'll take a look. Thanks, Brigham. Feel free. I'll be here if you have any other questions. I would say that would be it. Hey, keep your hands off those graves. Have you no respect for the dead? Mmm, not really. But this might not be something we can do in the middle of the day. Let's see here.
Let's go talk with Verge a bit. Oh, I'm sorry. I, uh, I had something to do here. I, I'm ready to go when you are. Virgil, what are you doing here? Whose grave is this? Nothing. I... This is... Someone I used to know. Many years ago, I... I just thought I should stop by and pay my respects. Lawrence Bremen, was he a friend of yours? Lawrence was my... My friend. We grew up together. In Tarant, actually. Our, um... Uh, families moved to Caledon when we were older. He died in an accident. A terrible accident. What happened? I don't want to talk about it. Please, l let's let's just be on our way. That's fine. Let's go. I'm sorry. I, I well, forget it. Uh, why don't you just tell me, Virgil? Perhaps another time. Okay. Let's just uh, wait around here for a little bit. Yeah, I could use that, please. Skull and binding on this book is most obviously a fake. Purchase at the Roseboro Gift Shop. How Nazarin defeated the nefarious Aranax and other stories. Gather around, dear children. Hear the tale of how Nazarin defeated the nefarious Aranax. Child of Darkness. Many years ago, before even the oldest of Elven folk were alive and born in this world, Nazarin the Good ruled our fair arcane with kindness and the firm hand of justice. But Aranax was of darkness and resented the rule of light. Within his black heart, he conspired to wrest control away from the virtuous Nazarin and his holy Elven council. Nazarin in his goodness, not knowing of Azarak's evilness, had bestowed a steed to the Elven council to Aranax to repay his kindness Aranax destroyed an entire city! Nazarin's heart was crushed. He condemned Aranax to the void, but Aranax had twi twisted several of the councils from his nefarious ways, and there was war. There was a bitter war, my children, and if not for Nazarin, Aranax would have destroyed us all. But as it always does, goodness won the day, and though a sad day it was, the great Nazarin lost his own life as he banished Aranax to the dark, ethereal void. So without the blessed Nazarin guiding our way, we would all be enslaved by evil. Remember this as you go to sleep, and know that Nazarin watches us over all. But beware, Aranax may be lying in wait for those who don't mind their elders and keep to their studies. Uh huh. Well, so much for finding this in here. Hmm. But it came from the Roseboro Gift Shop. Interesting, because, um, yeah, we're familiar with Roseboro. At least we've heard of it. I say, you're the woman that crashed that uh, awful blim crash. Awful business, really. Hello, Miss Miss. Do you have a moment? Certainly. Do you know about Roseboro or its gift shop? Roseboro? I've only been there once. Victor and I traveled once to visit the grave of his father. Never been there. Small town. Rather boring. Here, I'll show you where it is. I see. Thank you for your help, madame. Thank you, madame. Good luck in your travels. I've got an eye on you, Wesley. So, let's see here. Gonna pause for a bit to see what uh, course of action would be easiest for us right now. Okay, so let's stick here in Caledon for a little bit. Because we've got a few things going on here. Uh, first off, 25 Dragon's Turnabout. Let's investigate um, Wesley's place. 
Also, we're gonna need to go into there real soon. And what was it again? 25. Museum. 24. 25. Not much here. Ah, a note. Dear Mr. Carrington, close the payment we agreed upon. Elmer Burbottom. Hmm. Maybe we'll have to go to Toronto for that. I will definitely be uh, discussing things. Actually, I might as well discuss them now. Yes, how can I help you, madam? What can you tell me about Elmer Burbottom, Wesley? Wh what? How did you. Have you been going through my personal belongings, madam? Will I be forced to call the authorities, madame? Um, just to answer the question, Wesley, who is he? No, madame. If I ever find out you've been going through my things again, I, I will call the royal guards and have you run through on the spot. Now, I have nothing left to say to you. Please leave. Now. I'm sure we'll be seeing each other again, Wesley. Good day to you. Yeah. Wesley's definitely got something to hide. Also, we might as well hold on to that. Can hold on to that. That, that. And you should hold on to that. How do you do? I ask you a question. Hello again, Relsa. Lissa Relthus. Hope you're well. Um, good day. I already know where Visker, or Victor Minsk is. Mm, what do you want? Thick tome looks ancient. Pages of warm parchment. Gold leaf illustration limiting letters. The cover says, Archeon. Nari Alkalite. Greetings, name of Nazarin. Welcome to the first Panari Temple here in Caledon. How might I be of service? Hello, Mike. Who might you be? I am an Alkalite in the Panari Church, studying to become an elder one day. Right now, I'm here watching over the temple while the first Acolyte, Alexander, is away. Where is the first Alkalite? It's not for someone as lowly as I to know where the fir first Alkalite spends his time. I am not to question, only to serve the church the best way is that I can. I'm sure I'll be back soon. Alexander never leaves us for long. See admiration in the boy's eye. Oh, he really likes this. I see. Can you tell me anything about the temple? I'm afraid I'm the wrong person to ask. Feel free to look around. I recommend returning later when Alexander is here. He'll be glad to answer any questions you might have. May the spirit of Nazarin be with you. Good day to you. Door is locked. Sense is bound with strong magics. Hmm... Strange device, Kakatur, Finger of Menox. Hmm. Very interesting indeed. Hmm. 
second while I figure out a bit more. Okay, that quest line we have to wait for a bit. But I'd like to go. I'd like to go to Tarant. Passage for seven, ready to go. I've got like 64,000 uh, gold, so yeah, 1,400 for a round trip is not that big a deal, but it is a little bit. Time once again to head to the Hall of Records! You ever think a um, epic role-playing game would spend so much time in uh, a uh, city... Um, <laughs> Archive? Yes, words. Sometimes I can think of them. Hello, pleasure to see you again. Perhaps you can answer a few more questions. But of course, I'm at your service. Help you locate an individual. Might have the individual's name? Um, yes, Elmer Burbottom. Burbottom, let's see. We do have a street address for Mr. Burbottom, but it's Nashbury. It's 14 Trellis Way. Uh, thank you, madame. A few more questions. Locate other individuals? Lawrence Bremens? Yes, I do have something about a Lawrence Bremen, although he's not a citizen of Tarrant. It's a newspaper article. Here's a copy for you. Thank you, madame. I'm leaving now. Caledonian man brutally murdered. Upstanding citizen survived only by his brother. Local gentleman Lawrence Bremen was found dead in his apartment last evening. A victim of a brutal beating, but by one or, one or more assailants. Currently, police have no suspects in the case. Downright puzzling, said Director William Prescott. Nothing out of the apartment was stolen. There's plenty of you're wondering what the newspaper is all about. Yes, Virgil, what is this all about? Lawrence Brummond. He was my brother. I told you that he'd been in an accident. Well, you see the kind of accident it was. He was murdered, Virgil. What happened to him? I, look, I just don't want to talk about it anymore. It was so long ago. I buried those ghosts. I don't want to let them out again. Listen, Virgil, you can tell me. No! I don't want to speak of it ever again! Just leave me alone! Fine, Virgil. Let's go. I'm sorry, Lawrence. I'm so, so sorry. Well... Looks like Virgil has plenty of uh, skeletons in that closet. Okay. Well, I guess when we come back, we'll go uh, say hi to Burbottom. Till then, folks. <laughs>